Hello, this is Crystal Stanich, the Teen and Adult Services Librarian, and thank you for joining me for this week's First Chapter Friday. Today, I will be reading from the beginning of Crystal Sutherland's The House of Hollow. Prologue. I was 10 years old the first time I realized I was strange. Around midnight, a woman dressed in white slipped through my bedroom window and cut off a lock of my hair with sewing scissors. I was awake the whole time, tracking her in the dark, so frozen by fear that I couldn't move, couldn't scream. I watched as she held the curl of my hair to her nose and inhaled. I watched as she put it on her tongue and closed her mouth and savored the taste for a few moments before swallowing. I watched as she bent over me and ran a fingertip along the hook-shaped scar at the base of my throat. It was only when she opened my door, bound for the bedrooms of my older sisters, with the scissors still held at her side, that I finally screamed. My mother tackled her in the hall. My sisters helped hold her down. The woman was rough and rabid, thrashing against the three of them with the strength we later learned was fueled by amphetamines. She bit my mother. She headbutted my middle sister, Vivi, so hard in the face that her, no her nose was crushed and both her eye sockets were bruised for weeks. It was gray, my eldest sister, who finally subdued her. When she thought my mother wasn't looking, she bent low over the wild woman's face and pressed her lips against her mouth. It was a soft kiss, right out of a fairy tale, made gruesome by the fact that the woman's chin was slick with her mother's blood. For a moment, the air smelled sweet and wrong, a mixture of honey and something else, something rotten. Gray pulled back and held the woman's head in her hands and then watched her intently, waiting. My sister's eyes were so black, they looked like polished river stones. She was 14 then and already the most beautiful creature I could imagine. I wanted to peel the skin from her body and wear it draped over mine. The woman shuddered beneath Gray's touch and then just stopped. By the time the police arrived, the woman's eyes were wide and far away. Her limbs so liquid she could no longer stand and had to be carried out, limp as drunk, by three officers. I wonder if Gray already knew then what we were. And that is the beginning of Crystal Sutherland's The House of Hollow. Um, I did read this entire book for the book club this month, and it is fantastic, super duper creepy. I highly recommend it. Please join me here next week as I read from the Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells. Thank you and have a great week.